The following review has been approved by the Best of Classic Game Room. Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. What this game needs is the BGA theme for Billy and Jimmy, or Bimmy and Jimmy. Don't punch me! I love the way he kicks. Welcome to Classic Game Room where I have the Double Dragon Tiger handheld LCD game system. Is it as bad as it sounds? Let's find out. I have reviewed the greatest game ever made, and this isn't it? It's Double Dragon the Tiger Handheld. And yes, it's as awful as you think it is, but we're gonna have a good time playing it together, aren't we? Aren't we? Answer now. Thank you. Actually, that was just a trick question. I'm messing with you because it's only a single player game, even if Double Dragon is best enjoyed two player. Beating up enemies together. Oh no, in this game, you'll walk along slowly, and punch and kick enemies on this terrible LCD screen. Pretty much what you would expect from Tiger. Now everything about this game is horrible, except for the simple fact that it's better than the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers game with the same case. That's its only saving grace. Double Dragon is better than Mighty Morphin Power Rangers from Tiger. <laughs> Way to go. The game works in some kind of a logical fashion, which is more than you can say for most of these crappy 90s handhelds. You punch, you kick, you can even back up and fight enemies in the back of the screen. And jump and kick them in the face and dodge dynamite and stalactites or whatever. It's even got backgrounds like buildings and trees and there's a cave level. You know, the more I think about it, the more I'm coming to the conclusion that this is the best Tiger handheld game ever created. Because it actually works. And I do like the Double Dragon artwork, especially that guy's arm on the right side. I think he's an inflatable balloon guy with a knife and a fancy red vest. He should have gold sparkly pants on to complete the outfit. I wonder if he does. Can't see the rest of it. Double Dragon, Tiger handheld. Should you run out and buy this game? Absolutely not. Unless you plan on just running it over with your truck because you get enjoyment out of such things. But this does prove that Tiger could at least make a functional game based on some kind of a licensed property. It's not good, but I'm sure this was pretty cheap and might have kept some kids occupied for at least 20 minutes back in the 90s. You'll never guess what kind of batteries power Double Dragon. Triple A's? Oh no, 9 volt? Think again. D-cell? Who uses D-cells? Double Dragon runs on double A batteries. Two of them. One for Bimmy, one for Jimmy. Not actually sure which one you're playing in this game though. It doesn't matter. Eventually it'll just end up in a landfill or be sent to Classic Game Room. See, this show is good for the environment because it's in space. And I have a classic game room shout out and thank you to send to Jeffrey from Lansdale, Pennsylvania in the Keystone State. Thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you for sending Double Dragon. It's another tiger handheld to avoid, but at least now you know it's better than the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers tiger LCD handheld game. And I think it might also be better than Double Dragon 3 on the Game Boy. Is that a pile of barf on the ground, or, or is it a rock? You know, they put a lot of time and effort into this game, and it shows. Oh. Stabbed by a stalactite. Again. Oh, game over. Oh.